So we'll discuss some in Yoni Svira and in Yoni Yom Yerushalayim. We'll try to tie the two in. So we're in the middle of the period of Svira, so Omer t- more to the concluding end is, at this point. But as the Ramban calls, it's the Cholomoe period. It's the days that bridge the gap between Pesach and Shavuos and the days between Yitzhiyas, Mitzrayim, and Ma'an Torah. So there's a discussion among the Rishonim, what about Bizman Hazeh in our day, does Svira retain its biblical character? It's clear, it's a biblical mitzvah, so it's definitely a mitzvah in our Torah. Does the, fe- does, does the mitzvah change today? Why would the mitzvah change? So the issue would be is, as always, is it, is it uh, connected to the carbon omer or not? Since today we don't have a carbon omer, so therefore perhaps Svira will be lowered to a mitzvah midrabanan. So that's a major machokas. We the Rambam, among others, is the leading candidate for that Svira is even the Raisa today. And many other Rishonim in the Bali Tosvis say that Svira is only Drabanan today. And it's all how you learn, it's based on the Gemara Menachas, Samach Vav, I believe, is a dispute in the Gemara, how do we count Svira today? So there's a dispute in the Gemara, one opinion says you count days and weeks. And the other opinion says no, you only count days because it's only a Zechel of Mikdash today. So the, the way most Rishonim learn that Gemara is that both opinions, so everyone agrees that it's a Zechel of Mikdash. Everybody agrees that today it's only Drabanan. The Machok is in the Gemara is how much of a Zechel do you need? Do you do, do we say Mitzvah Drabanan Ka'in Do Raisa Tikkun? And therefore the same way you did the Mitzvah in Torah, counting days and weeks, so to here? Or do we say no, it's in the Sith is only a Zechel of Mikdash? It's enough that this, the way it's like we have Korach, we have other Zechel, but you don't have to do it the same exact way it was done in the Beis HaMikdash. It's enough just to remind us of the mitzvah, and, and so that's the, that's the way most Rishonim learn the Gemara. Obviously the Rambam can't learn the Gemara that way. Obviously, so according to the Rambam, you'll have to say the, that Pashtis, that's good for the Machokas in the Gemara. In other words, the Machokas in the Gemara whether you count days and weeks or just days, that's the machol. It's the one who says you count days and weeks because he holds it the mitzvah in Torah. The one who says counting days and not weeks because the zeichel mikdash he holds the strabbat. And so it's a machol as we show him how you're going to learn the Gemara. Whether the Gemara goof is a machol as we show him and those are the two sheets. Or, no, or everyone agrees it's a zeichel or mikdash and it's a question of how much of a zeichel is. Rabbeinu Yerucham Shita is that he makes, he counts days and weeks as separate mitzvahs and he used to make two brachas. But Bizman Hazeh, Rabbeinu Yerucham Shita is days are biblical and weeks are rabbinical. And what is that based on? So they say it's based on the same issue. Apparently he says counting days is an independent mitzvah and counting weeks <coughs> is is Zechel and Mikdash is connected to the Karban and therefore it's only Drabanan today. Interesting where Sri Pesach Frank in the Migrai Kodesh points out that the the way the Svaryam count <coughs> the Choshesh Vashitas Rabbeinu Yerucham. How does Svaryam count? I don't mean Nusach Svard, but real Svaryam that they count the days La Omer and then they count the weeks. They say La Omer in the middle so how come they're breaking up days and weeks? That's what the three of Frank says, because they want to show a demarcation between a mitzvah in Torah and a mitzvah in Rabbanan. Just like we find by Birkas Hamazon, that Moshe Rabbeinu instituted Hazana Sakol, Yoshua, Eretz Yisrael, David and Shlomo, Yushalayim, and, the, and Chazal, Midrabanan, the Haruge Beitar. So that's why we do something very strange. We say, Bona Baracha of Yushalayim, Amen. We enter Amen to our own Bracha. So we don't usually, we usually, God the Ha'one Amen. It makes sense that we should. If, if, if Amen is greater, but we usually don't. So, so the Rishonim point out, because we want, again, we want to show a demarcation 
Ad Khan Mitzvah Min Torah. Now this is the beginning of the Mitzvah Midrabanan. So that's why we make a distinction. So that's what the Rabbeinu Yerucham writes. But either way, it seems to be whether, whether the Rabbeinu Yerucham split between days and weeks or the Machokis, the Ramam, and the Bali Tosis is is fear it's a Omer independent mitzvah. If you hold it's independent mitzvah, then it's the Raisa. If you hold it's connected to the Karban Omer, then it would make sense it's only Durabanan. So that would, Al Pisvara, that would be fine. There's one little problem that the Rambam, when he, in, when he brings down the laws of Sphira Saomer, we could bring a geographical proof to the Rambam. But I mean, it's and where the Rambam puts the halacha is very telling what he thinks it's based on. So based on what we just said, if the Rambam holds his Daraisa, which come out that Sphira and the Karban Omer have nothing to do with one another, and hence, the, hence Sphira is still Daraisa today. The problem is, if the Rambam put it in Hilchus Sphira Omer, Hilchus Tfila, Hilchus wherever, Pesach, then that would be fine. The problem is he puts it in Hilchus Tamidim Musafim. He puts it in Hilchus Karbanos. So therefore, we can't say this Pshat in the Rambam. So therefore, we have Akasha. How do we reconcile the Rambam? How could the Rambam say it's Daraisa? Because the implication of Daraisa means it's an independent mitzvah. Yet, he seems to say um, uh, he still connects it to the Karbanos. It's the famous Rav Chaim Salavechik. It's in the different places by Sora in the Brisk Haggadah, different Haggadahs, and I've seen in quote. Otherwise, what he says is he wants to reconcile the Rambam as follows. He says, Where is he? He doesn't have his... Does he... Where is he doing that? It's not... Um, you're saying it's in the Brisk Haggadah? Yeah, that's right. I saw it, but he, it's not, but, yeah, but he just quotes them. He tells you where the rich... I mean, he's just quoting... The Brisk is just quoting different Beis Halevi, so... I mean, it comes, I'm, not, I'm not sure if he's quoting from him, from Rav Chaim al Ram, I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, I'm saying, like, is it there? Yeah, I'm not sure, that's what I'm saying. I still don't remember yeah. where he quoted it from. But he writes as follows, that, unless it's Mipi Shmu, I'm not sure, we could, we could just look it up in the Brit Kadagadah, so they point out that, see, so how does Rashi learn the Gemara over there? The Gemara back in Menachah, Samach Vav, I don't think it is, that when it says Zechul HaMikdash, because we don't have an Omer, we don't have a carbon Omer, and therefore, Mitzvah of Sphere is only Durabanan. So therefore, and, and everyone agrees, and Pashtas uh, of Rashi and the Gemara, everyone agrees it's Durabanan, and the, the question is how much of a Zechul, and, and why? Because since we don't have a carbon. So, Rechayim points out, there's a famous Machlokas Hasugyas, uh, and it's in terms of which will be relevant to Yom Yushalayim very shortly, is the whole discussion in terms of Kedushas Ha'aretz and Kedushas Hamikdash. There's a discussion in many Gemaras about the Kedusha Rishona, Kedusha Shniya, Yoshua, Ezra. Was it a Kedusha Lashaitza or was it a Kedusha Lasidwavo? That's one separate issue regarding Kedushas Ha'aretz Israel. And it's a totally different discussion, and they don't necessarily go hand in hand, regarding Kedushas HaMikdash Rishalayim. So, the, so Rav Chaim points out it's, this, it's many different sugyas. So, Rav Chaim saying, this Gemara in Menachas is only going, it's, it's, it's not going at Liba de Hilchasa, he says. It's going like that opinion that says that we don't have um, the Kedushas, um, we don't have the, we don't have, the Kedusha today will explain in a minute. In other words, the Rechayim says as follows, and he says, so what is, what is my base on Mikdush Kayim, how did it work? You, well, Sirius Omer and the Mitzvah was at night. That's a really, just Baruch to Mimis, you know, we're all familiar with the Bahag about missing a day. But to Mimis actually means be, that you begin at night, that you need a, a full day. In fact, that leads Tosis and Menachas to say that you should, you should be counting at Tchilas Shkia. You should be getting to count at Shkia. Mm-hmm. And even one place he writes, Samach Shkia, to get it. That's what Tamimus means. So we counted Svira at night, and then we brought the carbon over the next day. So he says, even Bizban Beis Amikdosh Kayim, Rav Chaim writes, it was never dependent on the carbon over Bepoel. It was only totally in the car, that I counted Svira tonight, 
thinking that the next morning, planning it the next morning, I was going to bring the carbon omer. So Rav Chaim says nothing has changed because we pass in that Kedushas HaMikdash, the Rambam Shita, Kedushas HaMikdash, even though the base of Mikdash is no longer up, Hashchina Eino Bato, and Makriv in Afapisha Eino Bayez, we pass in in theory, one could bring Karbanos even without the base of Mikdash. So Rav Chaim says, it's no kasha. He says, Bizman Azeh, we count Svira the first night, Okay, and in theory, I'm going to bring the carbon omer. I could bring carbonos in theory. Okay, so technicalities prevent me the next day, either because of the tuma, because of big day kahuna, whatever separate share on why we can't bring carbonos today. But there are technical details why I'm not bringing it. But fundamentally, I can bring a carbon. There is kedushas hamikdash, and therefore the Rambam shita is that the carb, the spheres omer is connected to the carbon omer. And nevertheless, it's still the Raisa because, because the Kedusha Samikdash is, is Bekayim, even, even, even Mizman Hazet. So that's how we're, So the Pashtus Hasugi is whether Sphere's Omer is the Raisa Durabanan depends on whether it's connected to the Carbon Omer or not. That's the most learned. If it's connected to the Carbon Omer, it's only Durabanan. And if it's independent, it's the Raisa. But we see, you can't say that in the Rambam because the Rambam puts Sphere's Omer in Hukhis Tamidim and Musafim. Hence, um, the Rav Chaim's pattern, no, it's connected to the Karbanas, and so what? It's not a problem. There's Kedushas HaMikdash, and hence um, Svir Omer retains its biblical status. So, I, so that um, leads us to a discussion since um, this coming Sunday is Yom Yerushalayim, 1967, the reunification. Yeah, so I'm on time. <laughs> and therefore. <laughs> And therefore, so we'll, we'll continue, therefore, we'll continue our discussion on Taminyane Yushalayim. So we might as well just continue with the Kedusha Tamikdash part. So, as I pointed out, that's the, Ra, the Rambam Shita. The Rambam makes a distinction between Kedusha Saaretz, that we know there was a Kedusha of Ezra, Yoshua, and that the Rambam writes was only a Kedusha Lushaita. And therefore, even Bismarck has that. That Truma is a Maisa Shemitah, this week's Parsha Bahar, it's only Durabanan today. In fact, according to the Rambam, that you need Bias Kuchem, that according to the Rambam, even Mizman Ba Yesheni, you, you know, these Dinam are only Durabanan, you know, Yobo, other different halachas. So the, so the Rambam holds Kedusha Sa'aretz, Mizman Hazeh, is only a Din Durabanan, while the Kedusha Sa'amikdash, um, that retains its biblical status. What's the difference? How come Kedushas HaMikdash remains and Kedushas HaMikdash disappears? It's interesting. The Bali Tosas have the same Shita as the Ramah, but for a totally different reason. Nothing to do, and if also it's based on a Pasuk in this week's Parsha about Lo Choma. There's a special Halacha Tosas writes in different places about there's the laws of Are Choma, Bate Are Choma. And there's many Halachas. Let's say a Mesora, can't go into a but there's different level of Kedusha for a walled city. Kriyat HaMegillah, it's based on a walled city from the time of Yeshua ben Nun. So the Shiloh the Gemara wants to know is what about the, a wall that was, a city that was walled in the time of Yeshua ben Nun, and now the wall is destroyed. Does it still have its Kedusha? That's why, in fact, that's why we talk about different days the, the Pirtzus HaChoma, like the wall, that's a big thing. The Choma, not having the wall, was a Shaila in the level of the Kedusha. So the Gemara quotes Begzerus HaKasav based on a Pasuk that says Lo Choma, which like with an, uh, the Baal Kori has to know that, that what really it means, Lo Choma, it's Begzerus HaKasav, that even though it doesn't have a wall, we treat it like it's having a wall. In other words, Tosis Shita is that to, that even though the walls of the base of Mikdash were destroyed, nevertheless it still has the same status and he, he comes to the same conclusion as Toast as the Rama, but totally different Svara. But they they both agree that Bisman Hazeh, Kedushish Ha Mikdash, as it did the rice, it's the same it, it hasn't lost anything based on Bhatti Arichoma, a special Xera Sakasuv. The Rambam says for another reason, because Ashina ain't a betela. You could take away you can, knock, you can take away the edifice and the walls, but you can't take away the divine presence. So the Ramam Shita and the Bali Tosas as Kedushat HaMikdash is the Raisa today. The Ravid disagrees. We'll see how much he disagrees in a minute. 
but he certainly disagrees. So, did a rabbit screams Chai Vakayim, and he writes, uh, and what my nafkamina, if this kedusha is not today, one of the major nafkaminas are, could it, we're assuming we're all tamei today. There's no paraduma. Can we go up to the Makam HaMikdash? So clearly, according to the Rambam and the Bali it's a, it's, a, it's an Issa Daraisa and Issa Kares. There's no different. You, the same Kedusha the Beis HaMikdash had during David and Shlomo, and now there is no difference. It's an Issa Daraisa, Yechayev Kares, if you go into the Makam HaMikdash. The Raiva disagrees and writes, HaNiknas Ata, you walk into the Beis, you're not Chayev Kares. So what's psat in the Raivin? So, some, so the interesting, the Me'iri, who he, he himself, I don't think, lived in Israel, but he writes, he writes, ba- uh, clearly based on this understanding, the Raivin, he writes the practice was, at a certain point, in his, uh, most people say not like the Me'iri, but the Me'iri writes that the, his practice, that he remembers the minute was, people did go up on the Makam HaMikdash. And he, if that's the case, he's clearly learning the Raivin, the Raivin saying it's, at the Gummer. That is, he's totally cholek on the Rambam. There is no, you can't say it's nothing, but it's not in terms of Kedusha. It lost its Kedusha, and the F01 is permitted to go up on the Makam HaMikdash. That's the way, the, based on the Meiri, he seems to be learning that in the Raivi because he's saying it's mutter to go up. Being a Makhort, the story of Rabbi Akiva, would they, where were they? Yes, yeah, that's all, and that could be also part of the discussion in terms of what, where did, so I want to say, well, where did, where did they go up? There are certain, there's, there's a whole, um, I think there are groups that even do it today, or they, you know, maybe, they're they allowed to go up and they're allowed to dive, and is what the rule, but there's different places, yeah, they figured out based on different measurements, where, di- like you take off your shoes, there are different things where you can actually go up, and it's not the whole, the, the meaning is not to go up at all for most, but there are, strictly speaking, there are those, say, there are those who, so that's a part of the question, where were they? Were they actually going like the Ravid, or maybe that's what the Meiri just heard they went up, but maybe it's not really Akasha. But there's a middle shita. I saw the Mishnah Yaivitz bring it down, but other Achronim also quote it. He says, we talk about, if the, let me ask you them. the Ravid was making a fundamental stand against the Rambam. The Rambam saying, you go on the Makam HaMikdash, Shechayev Kores, you think he didn't say in one Anichnasata Yinachayev? He would come out and say, and Lafichach Mutter Lechad Chila to go like it seems if he's saying such a big Chiddush Vahalacha to like say it, that's basically that's the Chazanish's time on the Rambam or on Rav Chaim on the Rambam or all the briskas if because they come out you say a briska Chiddush or any Chiddush on the Rambam the one. Why didn't, the, why didn't the Rambam spell it out? But either, whether that's a tiny or not, but either way, that's what they asked. That's his kasha on the Ravid. The F.E. says, no, of course the Ravid's not saying. The Ravid holds it's an Issa the Raisa. I so what's his, so what's his machok? Okay, so he quotes like this. There are two psukim. I think one is in Parshas um, Nusso, and one is in Parshas Chukas, regarding the Issa for a Tomei, Summoned an Isra for someone who's Tommy to go into the Makam Hamikdash. So one Pasuk is in by Chukas, by the by um, by the Paraduma, by Tumas, and that that the Pasuk says the of Kares. But there's a Pasuk in Parshas Naso which talks about going into the Makam Eshchina. It doesn't mention anything about Kares. So what are these two Psukim? So as a result, he writes as follows He says, When is there a of Kares? There's only Bizman based on Mikdash Kayim during the time of David, Shlomo, and the Beis Mikdash was up. And then you go into the Beis you go into the Makam Mikdash, so then Yechayev Kares. But the second one is only talking about the Ritzpa. Is is the second level also the Ritzpa is Makadish, David was Makadish to Ritzpa. That applies even independent of the building, but that's only an Isser Lav. That's only an Isser Makas. So that's what the Psalm and the Ravid. Anichnas Atta Yinachai of Kares, but Yechai of Makas, it's still, in, according to the result, the everyone agrees it's an Issa Daraisa, the Machokis, the Ram and the Ravid is, according to the Ram, it's a full fledged Kedusha. There's no difference between now and when the edifice was up. The Ravid has a brisker, brisker Chiluk. He wants to say, no, when the base of Mitch is up, it's a full fledged Yechai of Issa Kares. But now, from the Kedusha's Aritzpa, that's, in, that's still an Issa Daraisa. Um, but it, it's only a, a mock. In fact, it's interesting, Ravid. The Ravid was a Makubo. So he has a very interesting language. 
He says, the nigla, how do I know I'm right? How do I know that whatever, whatever he's saying, whatever he's saying, whatever shot you want in the right, but how, does, how do you know the right if it's right? How does, he's asking, how do you know I'm right? He doesn't actually phrase it, he says, the nigla li, God told me, can you do any better than that? The God told you, I know a lot of people, who, you know, God speaks to today also, they tell them a lot of things, but the right, so, so it seems a very interesting line, you know, he's a Makobol, so maybe at Ruach HaKodesh, who knows, but so Rav Cook says, no, there's a different Gersa, that's not the, it's the wrong Gersa, it shouldn't be Veli, it should be the Nigla Lo, referring to Ezra, as, who I think it should have been to Shlomo, but the Ravitz Kiddush is, why is it that the Kedusha HaMikdash doesn't have the full-fledged status? Because it was known to Ezra, to Shlomo, that when they built the base on Mikdash, they all knew there'd be a Bayish Shlishi. They knew this is only going to be temporary. It's only going to last. So therefore, the only one Makadish it was Man. And how do I know that? Because, so either Ezra knew it for Ruach HaKodesh, according to the Rav Kook learned the Ravid, or the Ravid saying. But either way, it's a Machokas. The, the, the Ramam is clear. The Ramam in the Balitosis is clear. It's, it's a Daraisa with the Chi of Kares. And the Ravid, you have another, see the Ravid is another interesting Ravid symbol, with nothing to do with this, but the same type of thing by the Isra of Tumas Kohanim. In other words, the famous Rambam. You know, this is very relevant to Kohanim Medical School and all, this, all these Kohanim Shailas. People like to be totally on one of the Ravid. It goes in, there's a, we know there's no, there's an, we're all Tommy today because we don't have the paraduma, we can't become tar. So the shayla is, what if so if it's man is that, can a coin be matami lamais? What's the harm? You tell me anyway, it can't get any worse. You know, we have osatuma. So what's the big deal? So what, to the Rambam writes, that no, each time a coin is matami lamais, he violates another law. Of course, the, the Rambam writes, calls man your osake with the mace, so then you can touch it a hundred, as many times as you want. But whatever, once you're chos there, whatever that means, and then you come back again, so then each time it, it's, a, it's a new iser. And the Ravid is cholek on the Rambam. Again, it's not clear what the, you know, how much is he cholek. So again, so then you have the whole gamut. So some learn the Ravid, that the Ravid say no. That is there, there's no problem for a kohen to mitami mate. He's ready, it's a result-oriented prohibition that, and therefore, so based on this is interesting, um, I think it's a Mishnah Lamelach. I think he was talking in the mummy trade. So he, uh, but so the effort in terms of a svek sveka, and I've seen some try to one maybe either lim, depending what your sheet is, whether Kohanim could go to medical school, whether it's a lim or whether you're saying it's a hetzer or not. But they like invoking the svek sveka. One, it's a machokas Rama Maravid, whether does they, whether they have to worry about whether they have to be muzer or not. And secondly, there's another ma- major machlokas we've shown him, Tosis and the Rambam and others. Uh, what about uh, mace mitami ba'ohel? If, for a, a non-Jewish corpse, could a coin come into the same room, be in the same ohel? Uh, could it go to a you know non-Jewish cemetery? So, so I want to bring it right with the Machaber Paskins that are basically a coin. He doesn't say us, or he says. We actually desire that you shouldn't go in. The Ramah writes, Yesh may kill him, but he says, but he, so the people who seem to learn to Machokas Machaba Ramah there. Ramah says, Meikar Adin, it's Mutter, but he says, um, it's best not to. But either way, so the people want to say from the fact that Machaba writes not to go into a, he, he must hold that Tosfus, and the Machokas and the Gemara, that a mace is Matami Ohm. Others say, it's no Raya. Unfortunately, it's not a Raya. What do I mean, unfortunately? Because there are many Yidin buried in, in non-Jewish cemeteries. And maybe that's what they were concerned about. That many apostates, other Jews who were buried. So either way, it's uh, inconclusive. The Machokis we shown him. So the Rambam writes it's Mutter. A mace can be, a Kohen can be Matami Ba'olel. Other we shown him don't. So to the Mishnah Lamelech wants to quote a Svek Sveka. And whatever the case, whether I think it was the mummy trade, whatever the case, but apparently the case where you're not touching the mace. He says, number one is the Machlok is Ramam and Ravid, whether one has to be Musar today, because we're all Tommy Mays. And even if you want to tell me, we pass them like the Rambam, that it's us, but still, but the Rambam pass them to Eno Metal, basis of Metami Ba'ohel. So therefore, based on the Svek Sveker, some want to be Mako. So I think the Node of Yehuda over there writes on that Fiske Chuva quotes this whole thing in, over there. 
And then, it, so, he says, no, that's not the, so he's, okay, he's, or, so he says, it's not the pshat in the rivet. Because he says there's another rivet in Tamim Deim elsewhere, who basically writes, he, but it's an Issa de Raisa for a Kohen to Metami. So again, so, I'm mean, saying you have the same type of um, dispute, the Machok is Ramam Ravid, it's, it's how, my, how big a Machok is, is the Machok is Ravid Rama. you know, it's a, it's a major, both cases, you're dealing with, in this case, you're dealing with an Issa Kares of going in the Makam HaMikdash, and the other case, you're dealing with a major could a Kohen be Metami Lameis, Yechayev each time. So that's, um, so that's a discussion over there, but that's the same machokis here as well. So that's one major, that's one major machokis is whether a coin to, whether, whether a coin, whether, whether a t- someone who's Tami Meis could go into um, the Makam HaMikdash. So according to the Ramam, it's the same Mishra Daraisa, because it's Kedushas HaMikdash Vizman HaZeh. And according to one version of the Raiva, the Miri's version, it's Heter Gamar. And according to the Rambam's version, According to um, the the Rizzotti's version, it's still it's, the how do we paskin? There is no halacha. It doesn't seem, it doesn't appear in Hil in Shulchan Aruch. Well, it actually does. But where would you where could you find the halacha like this? How do we paskin? Can a tummy go up to the Makkah and Mikdash today? So you'll find it of all places, which makes sense in Hilchas Tishabav. I think the last simon in Hilchas Tishabav. And and the, again, the Magen Avram who lived in Poland in the 1500s, so he's, he wasn't dreaming of going back to Eretz Israel. He's asking theoretically. He says, he says hypothetically, can a tummy made could some tummy go to the Makom Mikdash? So he takes he counts up the Rishon, however he comes to his psak, and he says, Rov Rishonim are that it's usher, and he paskins that it's usher for tummy mates to go on the base of Mikdash on the Makom Mikdash today, and the Mishnah Brura who obviously had access to even more, he even quotes more, and he passed things like the Magan Avram, that it's Usher, so the Psak and the Shoch, you know, and the Magan Avram and the Mishnah Bura is, that we assume, again, so as Alex points out, but that's only in the place where, according to some, the different places where, and different methods, not taking, you know, not maybe, what, what you can't wear, it's an the shy with Israeli soldiers, today doing Shmira, so some say, obviously it's Bikuach Nefesh, or it's Sakana, but in terms of this issue of taking, having a weapon in the Makam HaMikdash, and s- some say we are sneakers like Tishabav, you know, and they have a not choose. You know, di- so different people who, it's a, if a soldier has to go, that's a different Shiloh. But then those who don't have to go, there are things, I don't know if they still have tours, there are so, there's certain like rabbis like who take people on tours, that, uh, you, know, uh, you know, in terms of that, you know, you, you had a kasha or not? And this, uh, this to conclude, um, this, so this, so some want to point out that we see from the Gemara, in ta- the Gemara at the end of Tainus talks about Tubav. Tubav, one of the happiest days of the year, that in Yom Kippur. So what's one of the things that happened on Tubav that makes it one of the happiest days of the year? Many things happen, but one of them is Hoshea ben Ela removed the, the, that he removed the guard that Yerubim and Nava put up to um, to have, have access to be to the Jews could be Ola Rego. So the to the Gemara list that's one of the reasons that that's enough of a simcha. The fact that we have access to the to the Makam Amikdash, access to Yushalayim, is a is a simcha. So 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 people want to say we're well, Derek Drush or not, but so 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 how much more, I don't know if it's how much more so, we don't have the base on Mikdash, but they say how much more so today, 1967, Yom Mishan, we have Yushalayim, we have the Kota HaMaravi, the holiest spot today that we can possibly have, how much more so, if mere access to Yushalayim was enough of a quasi-simcha, and how much more so having, having actual access to go. And that's when we have to, you know, appreciate the Chaste Hashem that He's given us our Yisrael and Yushalayim. And it's interesting, Mara Diskin will close with that Rav Shecht always likes quoting about by Evan Ivry. That uh, Evan Ivry, that he's, that he's punished um, he does, if he wants to stay after a half day as Adoni, he loves his master so much he wants to stay. So he, um, he has to do near. Why does he have near to the ear that said not to steal? The ear that heard, I'll be a slave, I, I can't, only a slave to God. So whatever the approach you take. So the Mara this can ask, but doesn't make any sense. Why is he being punished now, six years later? He should have been punished when it happened. 
So the Maharaj is going to answer, no, no, really slavery was the onish. Becoming an evidence is nothing worse than someone not controlling their own destiny. Even being, you know, even being an Evid to the Chafetz Chaim, it's not that the person, it's not that you can't, the fact that you don't control your own destiny and you're not an Evid, that by itself is an Onish. But if a person takes the Onish and makes it into a reward, I have to, it's great here, no responsibilities, I'll, I, have my, I have my pillow, my stakes, I'm covered, who needs to become free? When you turn the Onish into, the, into a scar, then unfortunately something you might need, then you never got an Onish and then Hence, comes the Erza. So too, Rav Shachter was Galino galina me'artzeno. Because of our sins, we're put into goas. On the Chas Hashem, we have a tremendous goas. And so far, you know, in terms of being safe and all that. But as always, we have to be very mindful that we don't turn um, the chayt of goas and realize that you know the ultimate goal is ultimately Eretz Yisrael and Yerushalayim. So at least it's at least um, so at least one day a year we do, do we can appreciate every day of the year, but at least um, one day a year, and, and since 1967, you know, it's a day to at least, whether you're going to say how or not, all the other things, you could, you could work out your own, you know, those are halachic issues, whatever conclusion comes halal makes no difference in terms of appreciating the day itself. You cannot say halal and appreciate, you know, Yom Yushalayim as well. So that's, and especially according to the Rambam, that Kedusha Samiktish is even the same, so it still has the same, as the same status. Whether Yushalayim has the same status anymore, that's a separate share in terms of whether um, you, everyone passes, we still do Kriya at the Makam HaMikdash, but the, by the Kotel, whether we do Kriya on Yushalayim is, since 1967, that will have to go into um, another time.